Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Woodbury video. This week we're starting a series of converting our newest shop, which is a really old dairy building. So yeah, this is part one. I hope you guys enjoy it. So when we first walked into this place, it had carpet, yellow walls, a couple workbenches that are now in the shop, and a metal roof that we are about to tear down completely. Our plan is, is to expose the rafters, paint the walls and floors white, add some shelving and some cute decor items, and we're going to call that good. So let's get started. Okay. Yeah, now the bolts are out of that, and I'll go to the next bolt line. just off of one panel. How to roll this mess up the easy way, hopefully, the easy way. Oh. Unfortunately, you guys aren't going to see this one. Oh, I need your help. This is about to be really bad. We're about to blow the whole room out. Oh, I got no mask on, glasses. It's going to be bad. No way around it. It's going to be horrible, but it's got to be done. There's so many cobwebs and feces Ew. and all kinds of just nastiness. Yeah, like look at this window sill if you can. It's a little dark, but... We got like ant beds on here. Hold on. Let me show, show the light on the subject. There's like ant beds all around. This windowsill is disgusting. What else? Probably rat poop over there. And like all up there has got to be blown out. Glasses are fogging up already. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, might want to get out of here. This is going to be bad. We're adding a new wall to this side of the office to close off the attic. It's also going to help with noise coming from the shop and to keep dust out. 
we are using OSB as the sheeting to give the room some texture and having a wooden wall it'll be easier to hang things up on because these walls are center blocks with plaster covering them and that would just not be fun to drill into. brackets are for some shelves that we are doing on top and on the bottom of all the windows for some knickknacky items. We got all of our light tongue, we got our wiring somewhat cleaned up, and we caulked all exterior walls off camera. We didn't get to film putting up the upper sheets, but man, it was a sight to see. The first day we only had one ladder, so somehow Dylan held it up there and screwed it in. We waited until the next day when we had another ladder for the other side, so we were a lot safer. For those of you who follow us on Instagram, you'll know already that New Air sent us out a few of their units here. So we got a fan and then two heaters. We're gonna be using them in this new shop, but we've had time to test them out a little bit. So today we're gonna to tell you guys what we think about them. The first unit is this Quiet Heat 15. It's a very small ceramic heater, and this thing works really well. We've used it already in the 400 square foot garage space we have currently. It brought the temperature up about 15 to 20 degrees when it was like 30 degrees outside. So it was awesome for when we were putting on finishes and stuff. But this one will be our dedicated heater for this smaller office space. It'll much work much better in there. It also has a thermostat, which is really great. It has an energy efficient mode and also has a remote. Looks great and it is nearly silent. I don't know how they do it, but yeah, we've really loved it. This one, also in conjunction with that, we have used the new air, we get it right, WinPro 18F. So this is just your typical little fan, but it, I think it's a lot quieter than the other ones I've had, and it moves a lot of air. Not much else to say about that, but these two work together really well. So what we would do is we'd start this unit up and we'd aim this sort of in a circular motion to kind of help get the heat moving around the room for a little bit, which helped heat things up much quicker. We've also been using this since the Alabama weather decided to go to 80 degrees from 30 degrees. So it's been keeping us cool as well. So we do like this one. This one we have not gotten to yet. This is the G73. This thing is a monster. It's a hardwired 220 volt heater. This thing I believe will heat 800 square feet if I'm not wrong. But I'll leave links to all these in the description below if you want to check them out. This one has a uh, wall mount. So we're going to be wall mounting this in this new shop. So you'll see that coming up in a couple 
parts from now where we put this in the bigger shop space. And we're super excited to have this. It is going to be awesome in the winter time. So yeah, if you're interested in these, check them out. We highly recommend them. I can't say enough about this one. I love this one. It looks great. It's silent. It's got a thermostat. It's very energy efficient. So check these guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And here are some more videos for you to check out. This place is going to look so good. We cannot wait. See you guys in the next one. I would say next week, but we are horrible at uploading. So it's in the next one for now.